Hinduism, Sanatana Hindu Dharma is great and vast. The number of masters and their contributions is literally innumerable. And despite ongoing concerted efforts to destroy, dismantle, and defame everything that is Hindu by the anti-Hindu narrative, the history remains as it was. The Siddha refers to perfected masters who have achieved a high degree of physical as well as spiritual perfection or enlightenment. The Siddha tradition is one of the great expansive lineages of enlightened beings and their contribution to Sanatana Hindu Dharma. Anadi Foundation shares of Siddha Bhoganathar, or simply Bogar, as the legendary South Indian Siddhar, mystic and yogi, who also manifested many spiritual powers. Most of the understanding of the biography of Siddhar Bhogar is based on two of his poems, Jnana Sagaram and Saptakandam. Bhogar was a South Indian by birth, belonging to the lineage of Vishvakarma, goldsmiths. Karangi Nathar Siddhar is the disciple of Siddhar Tilumular. Many times in his works, Bogar calls Tirumular his great grand guru, in Tamil, Patar. Describing his life to Pulipani, Bogar's disciple, Bogar says he received initiation or diksha from his guru, Siddha Kalanginathar, who taught him all shastras, itihasas, great epics, yoga, and the path to attain samadhi. He learned Brahma Vidya from the great Tamil sage and Siddha Agastya Paraman. Later, he wrote Boga Shastra, which includes the techniques of Yantra, Mantra, and Tantra. After learning the techniques of Yoga, Mantra, and Tantra, he traveled all over the world and also went to China. The call to visit China came from his guru, Kalangi, who was in search of a successor to carry on his mission there. He visited China several times and trained the Chinese in the Siddha sciences, medicine, yoga, and ancient arts. In Bhogar Saptakanda, he reveals details of various medicinal preparations to his disciple, Pulipani, so named as he is believed to have wandered in the forests atop a puli, or tiger. And at every stage, he quotes his guru, as the authority. Also, Pulipani must have been a young man then as he is often referred to as Balaka. Bogar anticipating that in due course of period during the Kali Yuga, human beings will suffer from a large number of diseases. As an expert in medicine, he used 4,448 rare herbs and made nine poisonous medicines, Navapashanam, Mixing these nine poisons into one needs great knowledge and skill. To make a master medicine, one medicine to cure all disease. Siddhar Tirumular also discusses one such master medicine in his book Tirumandiram. With the consultation of Agastya, the father of Ayurvedic medicine and other Siddhars, Bogar concocted the nine poisons or Navpashanam and made the master medicine in the form of Lord Murugam, who is celebrated and worshipped at Palani Murugam Temple. And at Ivarmale, Siddha Bhogonathar prepared the concoction of Navapashan to make the Murti of Palani Andavar, the revered lord at Palani. Siddhar Bhogonathar is also said to have been associated with Mavatar Babaji, as he is called as the Jnana Guru of Babaji. If you feel responsibility is a power, you make your life successful. <laughs>